All right, everybody, Mr. K coming back at you again with another video. This time, whoa, what is all this stuff? Yeah, this time I'm coming at you with a cooking episode. Not really cooking, cooking anything per se, but it's in the realm of food, all right? Uh, one thing a lot of people don't know about me is that I actually really do like to cook. I like to make food, a lot of different food. I like to experiment with making different food. Uh, and that's one thing that I like. I like it, I am a technology teacher and I think that cooking food is a lot like woodworking, okay? And I know you might be like, what, you're crazy, but hear me out. You have a set of materials in woodworking. You have your wood, you have your screws, you have your machines. In cooking, you have your ingredients, all right? You have your machines here, all right? Uh, and you're trying to follow a set of plans to make something. Or in cooking, you have your recipe to make food, right? And it, it's very same, very like straight up to me, it's the same, right? And so that's that's one of the things that I like to do uh, in my pastime. And it's, you know, I like to cook pretty much anything. I like cooking food, cooking dinner, cook, cooking lunch, cooking breakfast. I like uh, baking, baking desserts, cakes, um, cookies, things like that. I do have to say though, some things I am good at, some things I'm not so good at. Like the other day I tried to make jello, and it just wouldn't set. I don't know. I did it, I read the directions on the side of the box, it's just water, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. So, uh, anyway, today I am bringing you this video. We are going to, I'm gonna show you how to cut a pineapple. A lot of people are intimidated by a pineapple because they don't know how to cut it. Right? You don't know how to cut a pineapple, how to get into it, so they just buy canned pineapple, which, I mean, I guess there's not that much wrong with, but fresh fruit is definitely healthier for you, definitely better for you than canned fruit, right? So today I'm gonna show you how to cut a pineapple, right? First thing, you're gonna need a cutting board, all right? And a pineapple is super juicy, so you want a cutting board that has kind of groove cut out around the outside and that's going to help keep the moisture, the excess water or juice inside on the cutting board not spilling out all over. Now the last uh, pineapple that I, I um, cut up had a, a lot of juice so I don't know it might still get all over the place. So another thing you need, some kind of rag to clean things up, right? You always want to keep your station nice and clean. And so that rag is going to do that. You're going to need a dish to put the pineapple in. And I have an extra smaller dish for extra pineapple juice. All right. And then you can't cut a pineapple without a knife. Okay. Now a knife is a chef's greatest tool. Okay. And that's what it is. It is a tool, right? And it needs to be respected highly, right? So you need to make sure number one, your knife is sharp. A sharp knife is a safe knife. Number two, if you're under age, if you're under 18, and even some people over 18, you should still hold and use knives with caution, all right? Get adult supervision, do not do this on your own. I mean, sometimes, you know, even the greatest chefs sometimes occasionally accidentally cut themselves, right? So um, you need to be very careful. Do not do this by yourself, all right? Do not use knives, especially a knife like this. This is a chef's knife, all right? Very sharp, very big. If you don't know how to handle it, it can hurt you, all right? So you need to make sure you have adult supervision while doing this, all right? That's my uh, public service announcement for the video. Now we're gonna get back to it. All right, so uh, first of all, how do you hold a knife, okay? Um, a big chef knife like this is very simple. You take your first finger and index, and you pinch right here, and then you take the rest of your fingers and wrap it around like this. Okay, that is the proper way to hold a chef's knife. All right, a lot of people, what a lot of people do is they hold it in the back and they put their finger like this and that's, that's a no-no, right? So pinch right above the handle, pinch it, and then like that. And that is the proper way to hold a knife, right? Now the pineapple, all right? Um, it's pretty big, right? It's pretty hard. A lot of these things, are intimidating. But hopefully you watch this video, not intimidated anymore, and you just know how to cut a pineapple. It's really not that difficult, right? And I watch a lot of Food Network, 
right? And me personally, I learned how to cut a pineapple from uh, one of my favorite chefs. He, he seems like, on top of being a fantastic chef, he's on a lot of different TV shows and everything. On top of that, he just seems like a great person, right? So I learned how to cut a pineapple from uh, Chef Jet Tila, right? Um, so if he's watching this, shout out to him, but he's probably not because he's got better things to do with his life than watch my videos. But here we go, all right? Pineapple, first thing you wanna do, you wanna cut off the top and cut off the bottom. All right, so again, we're going to grab the knife, right? Pinch the top. Fingers around the handle like this. Turn the pineapple on its side, right? And just cut straight down. You have to apply a little bit of force, but a good chef knife is sharp. All right, now it's not, you know, it's not the straightest cut you've ever seen. It's a little crooked, but guess what? Nobody cares. Nobody's judging this, nobody's you know, grading my uh, skills. So nobody cares, it's a little crooked. Nobody cares, all right? Uh, now you're gonna cut off the bottom so that you have a nice, even base. All right, and there we go. Now, if you've had pineapple before, this should not look unfamiliar, right? Looks like pineapple now. Right, now that you can see the inside of it, right? So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut it in half. All right, take off the top, take off the bottom. Next step, cut it in half. All right. Apply a little bit of force when you do it, but it's not too bad. You have a good chef knife. Easy, all right? Now we're gonna cut this in half again. So we're making quarters, all right? And you can kind of see there's a, um, a core in there, right? It's slightly different yellow color, slightly lighter yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut that core in half. Now I have quarters, right? I'm gonna do that to the other half, right here. Find that core, go straight down the middle. And there we go, we have our quarters. Now I'm going to very quickly clean the knife, clean my board. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to take one of these quarters, all right, we're gonna put it on its side like this, all right? Put it on its side like this. We're gonna take the core out, all right? So take the core out, put it on the side like this. You're going to pick up your knife the right way, right? You're going to find where the core is, right? And then put your knife on a slight angle, like maybe like a 45 degree angle. Right, and just cut that off. Right, and now that is what it should look like. This core you can just kind of toss off to the side. And I'm gonna do that again for the other three pieces. Keeping in mind while I'm doing this, the most important thing is safety. A good meal means that the chef has all 10 fingers and did not cut themselves, right? Now I love pineapple. Pineapple is a great fruit. It does have a lot of sugar in it though. Um, granted, natural sugar from fruits are healthier than artificial sugar that's in candy, but you do have to be mindful because it is still sugar, right? But pineapple is fantastic. You can use it a lot of different ways, A lot of make a lot of different tropical dishes with it, um, or just eat it. You can put it in jello. As I said before, I made some jello the other day that did not set, don't know why. Um, 
My suggestion is if you're putting fruit in jello, do it after the jello sets. Make sure the jello sets first, then add the fruit, because the fruit has a lot of moisture in it, and that can really throw off your balance. And that's probably what I did wrong. All right, so now that we have uh, our pineapple quarters that look like this, it's very simple. Okay, we're going to score it. Score it means we're cutting it, but not all the way through. So we're going to pick up our knife the right way, right? We're going to score it, I'm thinking four times. So think about this in your head being divided into quarters. And just kind of guesstimate. You don't really need it to be 100% exact. The closer you are to exact, the better it is so that all the pieces are uniform. But it's not that big a deal, right? And the more that you cook and do things, the better that you will be at guesstimating sizes, all right? So now that I have that in quarters, now I'm going to score it the other way. So I'm making little cubes. I can tell already this is gonna be a very ripe, soft, juicy pineapple, which is great. That's what you want. All right, so now I have that like that. Now, I am going to take my knife sideways like this, hold the pineapple on the side, and I'm going to cut through. All right, I'm not going to cut through all the way, right? Because my hand's on the other side. I don't want to cut my hand. Then I'm going to start putting these pieces into this bowl that I have on the side. Then I'm going to turn it to the other side. Cut it again. Take out the pieces. Like I said before, I love pineapple. Fresh pineapple, so much better than uh, canned pineapple. If you like canned pineapple, there's nothing wrong with that, but fresh pineapple, so much better. All right. Now, I don't want my pineapple pieces to be too thick, so I kind of, I'm going horizontally twice, right? So I'm kind of dividing the pineapple up into extra sections because I'm going horizontally twice. That's gonna get me a lot of pineapple pieces. So I'm going here again. Watching my fingers, remember again, the number one thing is safety. Go slow when cutting, let the knife do the work. A lot of times accidents happen when you want to hurry, you want to rush, and so you put more force behind the knife. That's when accidents happen, right? Just let the knife do the work, take it along, cut it like that. All right, now this slice of pineapple is done, okay? But I'm not done with it, okay? There's still a lot of juice in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to squeeze it. You can use this juice to help make a marinade, maybe put it in a drink, a protein shake drink, or just some kind of other drink. All right, I'm just squeezing this, getting all the ju extra juice that's still in here out before I discard this. Now this one is done. I try a little piece here. Oh my goodness. Pineapple is so good. All right. And now we just repeat that same process. Remember that same process was scoring it into quarters.
and then taking it the other way to create little cubes. And this is not difficult. Again, a lot of people will, would rather get canned pineapple because maybe this is too much work. They're afraid of doing it. They don't know how to do it. Hopefully from this video you see, it's not that difficult. It does not take that much time. And the results are quite delicious. Right, just going through cutting out my cubes. Turning it around, doing it again. Turning it around, doing it again. You don't want to get too close to the rind because that's going to be a harder, tougher piece of pineapple. You don't really want to eat hard pineapple. But at the same time, you don't want to leave too much pineapple behind. And one last time, one more time. Yeah, I think this is just about gone. All right. So we're gonna bring the juice cup over. Just juice that. Don't let any part of the pineapple go to waste. The juice can be reused for other purposes. All right. And yeah, there you have it. How to cut a pineapple. Very easy. Hope you learned something today. Hopefully you will feel more comfortable to go out, buy a pineapple from your grocery store, cut it, practice it. Just remember, be safe.